My Gavanan Melanine and well met indeed. I am Arachir Galadirathan, the head of the modding team that leads Divide and Conquer, and welcome to an updated and hopefully easier installation video of Third Age Total War 3.2 for Steam. I am urged to do this because lots of people are still renaming DLC folders to get Third Age to work, and you are seriously putting yourselves in a much worse position to play it any sub-mod of Third Age Total War and Third Age Total War itself. So I implore you to follow the method that we will follow here. So, once you've downloaded Third Age Total War, there are three parts. Part 1 of 2, Part 2 of 2, and of course, the patch. And you are going to want to right-click and run as administrator. Again, my usual spiel, even if you think you are your computer's administrator, Trust me, you aren't. Windows do not automatically make the sole user the administrator. So make sure you right click and run as administrator. It just elevates the powers of the installer and it allows it to do exactly what it should do. So click along. You can read all of this, but don't worry, that's what this video is for. Agree with above terms, click next. Right, now what you are going to have to browse here because Third Age Total War was released at a time when Medieval 2 didn't exist on Steam, so it defaults to where the disc version goes. However, you won't have it there because you have obviously got it on Steam. So you've, either, you've got two locations of where Steam will be. It will either be in your main local disc or it will be in a secondary hard drive. If it is in your main local disc, it will be called Steam and then Steam Apps. However, it's very likely that if you've got it in the C drive, it's probably in Program Files 86 and then Steam. Obviously, I don't have it there because I have moved it, but it's likely in Program Files 86 and then Steam. And then it's Steam Apps and Common, and um, there it is, Medieval 2 Total War, which is the one that we are after with this one. So just click on Medieval 2 Total War and click OK. That's um, where I've got it because I've moved my Steam. Now, if you have however separated your steam library into two parts then it will be in your secondary hard drive and it will be down under steam library and then steam apps common and then in common there'll be medieval 2. Um, so that's only if you have if steam has asked you do you want to separate your library and you've got two locations where steam is installed but the default location will be program files 86 steam steam apps common so program files 86 and then Pretend Steam's in there, Steam, and then Steam Apps, Common, and then just click Medieval 2 and click OK. And it, so it should end Medieval 2. If it ends with any other folders, it's wrong. Go back, find the right location. Click Next, click Start, it'll tick through. And we're done. So that is part number one. Just click Next, click Exit. And then we move on to the second part, which again, Run as Administrator. Always run as administrator. And uh, and then you won't run into any trouble. Now, the first part um, takes an awful lot longer to install than the second part, even though the second part is actually larger in size. And that is because the second part has less files, they just happen to be bigger. But um, the installer finds it easier to install less files, no matter their size. So it's bigger, but quicker. So the second one will, won't take as long. It also has a nasty tendency to get to about 18% and then tell you it's not responding and then jump to about 90%. And that's totally normal. So again, browse to exactly the same location you did last time, which is likely Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps Common. So there's your Steam and there's your Steam Apps Common. Medieval 2. Just click that and click OK. Click Next and start again. And see, it just jumps. Jumps like mad. And there we are, that completes part two. Click next and exit. However, you're going to want to install 3.2 as well. And again, run as administrator. Uh, now this one is very, very quick indeed, and I probably won't bother even cutting it out because it takes absolutely no time at all. But again, next, next, agree with the above terms and conditions. And again, locate where your game is, which will be in Steam. Say it with me now, Steam Apps, Common, Medieval 2, click OK, click next, start and watch it Tick away. Uh, the second part for me then took about 20 seconds, um, if, you, if you're interested. You're probably not, but I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> um, and this 3.2, of course, is just the, a little minor patch that brings it up to as up to date as it can be because the team no longer work on Third Age. It has long since been in a state of completedness. 
I've said that I wasn't going to cut this. And then this has taken almost as long as the second part. Probably should have cut it in hindsight. Oh well. Bit of Lord of the Rings music for you. I'll put timestamps in the video anyway. And there we are. We finish next and exit. Right, now this is where the real work begins. So this third age Total War shortcut will work. And let me also just say that if you install DAC into exactly the same location that you've just installed third age... That will also run Divide and Conquer, yeah, just as a side note. But, so what you've got to do now is navigate to where Third Age has just installed. You should be very familiar with it now, because you've just been there a million times. It is wherever your start is. So for me, obviously, it's C, Steam. But for you, it's probably C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps Common, Medieval 2, Total War. And then click on the Mods folder. So in Medieval 2, this is what you've got. Click on Mods. And in there, there'll be Third Age 3. Now, many of you at this point rename it to America's British Isles Crusades or Teutonic, and then you run it through Steam with a stupid little um, addition. Um, you can add a, a preference, can't you? Um, I'm not, I don't know why I'm even pretending to show you that. It's stupid. Don't do it. All you have to do to get this to work exactly as it does now is go into the Third Age 3 folder and right click on this file here, thirdage.bat and click on edit. Now this is looking for a file called kingdoms.x, right? Um, and if you try and run that, it's probably going to tell you not. So all you need to do is go back to Medieval 2 Total War, where you will have... Let me just delete that for argument's sake. You will only have this file, Medieval2.x. All you have to do to get it to work is right-click on that, click Copy, right-click on the white space, click Paste. It will give you a copy. Select that copy and rename it to Kingdoms. Click Enter. Job done. Then go back into your mods into third age 3 and now this third age dot bat file will run third age 3 for you or alternatively if you disbelieve that the shortcut will now run third age 3 for you without any trouble and there you go it is as simple as that you don't have to rename files you don't have to go into the steam launcher and put an additional command line after the game you don't have to do any of that and now, for extra tips, the reason why you don't want to be doing any of that is because if we go back to it, you now have the option to make some wonderful changes. This file here, the thirdagetotalwar.cfg, contains various options that are available to you as a player of the game. They are only used if you don't rename the folder. If you rename it to one of those four folders, you lose all of these options and you're absolutely scuppered. So, go back in, go to thirdagetotalwar.cfg. You don't need Notepad++ to edit this. You can edit it with the normal Notepad if you would like to, um, which is harder for me to find, so I'm just going to stick with Notepad++. Now, the options in here that you can do, the first of them I will show you is how to play the game in windowed mode. So, if I just show you this, let's just load up the game and just get to the main menu, and also take note of the videos that are about to play. So, there's your loading screen, and then it gives you all of these videos. And I have to skip through all of those and it's damned annoying. And then if I wish to alt tab out, for example, it alt tabs me. Oh, that's the iTunes. It alt tabs me, but it doesn't um, jump back in very easily, you see. It goes to that black screen and then it loads up. So, to play in borderless windowed mode, you need to go to that thirdagetotalwar.cfg file that I just showed you. And then once in there, go to remove that semicolon that I just removed there next to windowed. Just get rid of that and then enter a new line and type in borderless window equals true. Oh, that's not what I want. Oh, I can never remember the word as well. Um, borderless window equals true. Right, so you've got borderless window equals true and then save that. So that will give you a borderless window, as I'll show you in just a moment. Now, the other thing that you can do is to totally remove all movies from the mod, which is those loading movies and the faction introduction movies. To get rid of those, simply backspace that semicolon there and click save. And they will then also go.
Now the other thing that you can do here is if you're fed up with constantly, when you're fighting a battle and a general dies or a gate gets knocked down or a wall gets knocked down, the game will zoom in on that location and briefly take you out of control of the battle and to show you the event happening. If that bothers you, like it does me, you can also remove those cutscenes by simply deleting that semicolon as well. And then they will go. And then that is it. Now I have seen some people complain that the game stops them having certain number of units on the field. And the reason for that is because as you can see here there's a line that says unlimited men on battlefield equals one. And some of you won't be able to play with more than 4,000 men for example. The game might crash, it might tell you if you've exceeded your graphic limit. And that is because you have renamed your mod folder to one of these four which means they are... It, when you play Divide and Conquer, it is not reading this Third Age Total War file, meaning it's not taking instruction to allow unlimited men on the battlefield. So the only way to have unlimited men on the battlefield is to not rename your folder. <laughs> I can't get this through to you enough. Do not rename your folder. Um, additionally, uh, the other thing that you can do from here, as you, the next line you, uh, you can see here, the show HUD date equals true. Some of you, when you're watching my campaigns, may have noted that in the bottom right on the UI, it actually shows the date that it is right now in game. And a lot of you don't have that. And again, the reason you don't have that is because you renamed your Third Age 3 folder to one of these four. So once again, the game doesn't read this file before it starts up and it doesn't take that instruction. That is why it doesn't work for you. So to show you what these three things have all just done, if I go back to the shortcut and we load up again, I won't have to press escape this time. I've got my hands in the air as if I'm being arrested. And there you go, it goes straight to the loading screen and straight to the menu. And then to show you what I mean with the um, borderless, it just changes between them all, absolutely no dramas. There was absolutely no hint whatsoever of um, a loading bar coming in. So that is why I implore you to not rename the Third Age 3 folder and keep it as Third Age 3. And then, so for the final part of this installation, which I'll bundle it all into one, is how, I hear you cry, Galu, do you have so many Third Ages that all work? And the answer is that it's, again, ridiculously simple. So I'll take Third Age 3 Master. Um, here's one I've prepared earlier. <laughs> so all you need to do to have multiple Third Ages is just rename the Third Age 3 file to anything you like. Yeah, let's call it new. And then once you've done that, you can then reinstall Third Age using the, exactly the same thing I showed you at the beginning. And it will install a new Third Age into this location. But then to play the one that you've renamed, all you've got to do is, is go into it and again, go to the third age dot bat and right click that and click edit. And what you need to do here is rename this folder there to reflect whatever you have called your folder. So here obviously it's called third age three master. So yours needs to say third age three master or whatever you've called it. And then you can save that and close that down. And then go to the third age total war dot CFG again, edit it with whatever you want. And here the third line in, oh sorry. The third line in is called mod equals mods third age three underscore master. That one again has to be the same as the file name you have now created. And again, save that, close it and come out. And then what you can do to get your own um, shortcut like this one here is right click on the third age bat and create a shortcut. And then you can cut that shortcut, paste it wherever the hell you like, call it whatever you want, third age new third age far out man because who knows what's go with your naming style and then if you're getting fancy go to properties change the icon and then you can choose from anything you like and if you go to exactly the same like i have a hell of a lot of lord of the rings icons i can create my own icons as well but um we're getting ahead of ourselves now select all files choose the third age one. Oh, buggy you can't choose that one because it's a shortcut but you can choose icons from anywhere like I can choose that icon if I want I mean it's a bit naff but uh, there you go that suddenly is my icon um, but that's how you get then a shortcut of, of of those new files that you've created so for every one of these that you rename you can either just come to the folder and run the third age dot bat and it will take you through you notice there it said master in the little black window and it will take you through to the game 
the only reason it's not loaded up at the moment is because um, I have borderless window mode and it often takes a while to focus. And there you go, Third Age 3 Master, which incidentally for me actually is my Third Age 3 Master file. But that's it. So that is how to install Third Age on Steam. That is then how to make it work on Steam without having to rename it, which I really beg you not to do. That is then also how to turn off movies, turn off cutscenes, and make it borderless window. And then finally, that is how to install more than one version of Third Age at your leisure. I hope this has been informative, and I um, look forward to seeing you all soon again. Until we speak again, dear friends, Navarna den Permad Malunin, and farewell.